name's Adi In and today I'll be teaching about the types of numbers and the number line. So let's get started. There are six types of numbers and we're going to go through each one of them. So let's start with the first one on the list, whole numbers. Whole numbers are numbers that cannot be negative. They're all positive numbers and they include the number zero. Now, and now let's go into some examples. Let's see. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. You cannot go bec backwards because then it's going to go into the negatives. And the negatives we're going to talk about in a different type of number. So now let's go into the next one. Natural numbers. Natural numbers are what teachers say, the counting numbers. They're the same as whole numbers, they're all positive numbers and cannot be negative numbers. But the only difference is they don't include the number zero. So let's go through the another example. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go into the next number, integers. Integers are numbers that is a group of numbers that includes positive and negative numbers. So let's say on the number line, let's say, let's just say when you're on the number line, you have two sides on the side, on the, you have two places on the side of zero, positive and negative. Those all are included as integers, fractions, decimals, those aren't included yet. Now let's talk, now let's talk about some examples. Negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. That's an example. And now we're going to go into rational numbers, which are numbers that can be made into simple fractions, decimals, etc. Let's go for with three fourths, for example. It's a rational number because it was able to be turned into a fraction. Let's go with let's say a 0 0.1 that's also a rational number and it has to be able to end because if it doesn't end then it goes into the next category irrational numbers irrational numbers are numbers that can't end easily they'd go on forever and ever and ever for example 3.1458721315 etc etc that number never ends so that would be counted as an irrational number it could also happen in fractions but let's just go on to the next one real numbers they include every category so they like the bonus because they include every category fractions negative numbers decimals positive numbers, anything you could imagine. So those are all the types of numbers. Now we're going to go into the number line. So let's start. So the number line is a line that includes all types of numbers depending on how you use them that you they can include all types of numbers or just a few so and they help with addition subtraction math english etc so let's write down the the all the parts of a number line you have the zero in the middle and the middle is because we're going to come back to that then we have the positive numbers like one two three then we have the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And that's why we have the 0 in the middle. In normal ones, we just have the 0 at the left side and then we have full of positive numbers. But if you want to do a true number line, you got to have the negatives on the left and the positives on the right. So this is like a proper number line, but when you're doing basic addition subtraction that doesn't include negatives, you don't need to you put the zero in the middle. But we're just putting it for example now. So now we're gonna work into the middle. We're gonna wedge into those little gaps you see between each of those number line marks. So let's say between three and two, two and three, we put one half. That means two and a half, kind of. 
And then here, one, we put 0 0.5. And then let's say a quarter here, we put about 0 0.75. Because that's three quarters. Or you could put three fourths. That's an easier way. Three fourths. And then you can wedge anything you want just at the right spot. So here's an easier way to describe what a number line is. A number line is a way to describe where the parts are going. It's, it's a line where you can write down where each part goes so you don't get confused of where the part goes. So that's all this video is going to be about today. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and please put a like, give us a likes up and a thumbs up. Thank you and bye. See you in the next video.